Greetings captains and welcome to this new video tutorial series aimed at teaching you to fly. My name is Thomas Rasmussen and to make this tutorial series I've got help from flight instructor Cameron aka Voidhawk9 from the explain.org forums. The tutorial series will be a step to step guide much the same way you would learn to fly a real aircraft if you were taking private pilot flight lessons. The series assumes little or no knowledge of flying, so it is suitable for beginners, useful to those with a bit more experience in furthering their skills, or as a training aid for those taking real flying lessons. The first part will be the VFR or visual flight rules part and will contain a number of lessons about the flight controls, flying straight and level, turns, circuits and so on. While the second part will be the IFR or instrument flight rules part containing a number of lessons about the flight instruments, radio navigation, holding patterns, ILS, flight planning, etc. Ideally, you may benefit more from first watching a single lesson before you start up X-Plane 11 or for that matter any flight simulator of choice to carry out the exercises of that lesson before you proceed to the next lesson. The series will focus mainly on light general aviation aircraft. The same principles apply to almost any fixed wing aircraft. As mentioned, the series will follow a similar sequence and method as training to fly a real aircraft in real flight school. The actual methods and sequence of lessons will vary at different flight schools and this series may vary things to better suit the application desktop flight simulation. Please do remember that this series is oriented around flight simulation, so if your real world flight instructor tells you to do things differently than you learned here, always do what your real world instructor tells you. In most lessons we will be using the Cessna 172 because this is a relatively simple and easy aircraft to fly. I will be using the Airfoil Lab Cessna 172 since it's more advanced than the default Cessna but if you don't have it, then just go with the default one. A yoke, a throttle quadrant and a pair of rudder pedals are highly recommended but not strictly necessary. After completing the series, you should be proficient in general flying skills in X-Plane. I hope you'll enjoy the tutorial series and that you'll find them useful in your flight simulator and potential real-world flying experience.